Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize website loading speed. So for example, if we have a website that loads too slow, I'm going to show you how to check what exactly we need to improve in order to make our website load faster. So let's start. First of all, we need to go to page speed insights. So go to website page speed.web.dev. Of course, you will find a link to this website in the description of this video. So all you have to do is click on it and you will be taken over here. Next thing we need to do is to paste the website URL address in this uh, field over here. And once you do this, you simply have to click analyze. Uh, once you do this over here, we will see two different tabs, mobile and desktop. So if we want to optimize the loading speed for mobile or desktop, we can choose over here uh, which one we are looking for. Of course, you can check the results and the suggestions for both of those options. And once the performance is ready, let me choose a mobile, for example, we will see the performance score, which is uh, for this website 43, uh, which is quite low. You should be aiming for 90 to 100. And then over here, if it's red, that means something is wrong with it. So for example, first uh, contentful paint is 2.2 seconds. That's uh, the orange uh, bar, which is a little bit too slow, for example. Uh, speed index is 8.5 seconds. Uh, largest contentful uh, paint is 6.4 uh, and so on and so on. So you can check uh, the loading speeds over here. And then when you scroll down, you will see some opportunities to increase this loading speed of the particular website. So for example, here is a suggestion of what you should do. For example, serve images in next gen formats. So if we open it, it will suggest which images we should uh, compress or serve in different formats and what is the address of these images. So that way we can, for example, reduce it from 1.95 seconds to one second. And then below we have defer off-screen images. So over here we have some other suggestions of what to do. For example, if we are using WordPress, we should install a lazy load WordPress plugin. And that should decrease uh, this value. Uh, then reduce initial server response time. The server uh, initial server response time usually depends on the server itself. Uh, so for example, you need to get a better, uh, faster uh, server or maybe use CDN. And then if we scroll uh, further down, we have some other diagnostics uh, that are quite useful. For, for example, uh, we need to minimize main thread work. Mm, and once we expand it, we have uh, in details what exactly we need to do and uh, optimize. We need to ensure that the text remains visible during web font uh, loads and which web fonts uh, are or not uh, visible and what is the potential saving of doing it. As we can see, uh, it will accumulate to a few seconds of time. Uh, so this is how you can check what exactly needs improvement uh, on your website. What is the performance score when it comes to mobile as well as desktop? As we can see, this website is not really good to optimize for mobile, but it's pretty well optimized for desktop because the score is 77 and the loading times are much lower. So this is uh, basically how you can check uh, how to optimize it, what exactly you need to optimize on your uh, website. And uh, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments if you manage to optimize your own website and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.